Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an incredible hack how you can create your videos with Lightroom. If you think this looks good already, check this out. With Lightroom you will max out dynamic range and color information to the limit. Your standard videos will look even like raw video footage. But don't worry, after a few examples I show you how it works. In these first examples I've used drone videos from Mavic Pro 2 with 10-bit D-Log, which works awesome. This clip is 4K HLG3 footage from my Sony a7 III only in 8-bit and still it looks amazing. Even in complete low light you can pull so much out of your videos, it's simply amazing. This is the perfect example where grading with Lightroom is a must. On the right you have no details in sky and the subject looks too dark, but with some Lightroom slider magic you can rescue all the details in highlights and shadows. By the way, if you like this video I would really appreciate it if you subscribe so you won't miss any future camera hacks or tutorials. Now let's talk about the processing. I'm working with Final Cut Pro X, After Effects and Lightroom. Restart a new project. Create a new composition with existing footage and insert our clip. Because huge file sizes and storage are necessary for this process, we are shortening the clip with the shortcut Command, Shift and D to cut the video down to the part we want to grade. export this clip, but we change the output to TIFF sequence. By doing that After Effects generates us a still sequence which we can use for Lightroom. When it's done we open up Lightroom to import the whole sequence now we are looking for one frame which we will grade then. Here are the magic sliders I've told you about. The most important sliders are the highlights and the darks. We pull highlights down, darks up. Get more contrast by pulling blacks down, increasing saturation, clarity. That's a very good slider for more popping contrast. Maybe make it a bit warmer and don't forget the S-curve. Now we go back to the library and copy the settings with right click and command A, we select all pictures, right click again and insert the settings. So far so good, let's export the sequence again and import it to the editing program you use. I use Final Cut Pro X so I just drag and drop them into the timeline. As you can see, the length of one frame is still too long. Because all frames are selected, we can go to Change, click Change Duration. Here you can see how long each clip is. You can press 1 now, so each clip is one frame in length. And voila, we are done! If you want to see the full video where I took these amazing drone clips, check out this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, Goodbye and see you soon.